Hey guys, welcome to this training video. I'm going over how I turn every Friday into a $1,000 payday trading credit spread options. I'm going to teach you step by step. So if you're a beginner and you've never heard of options or credit spreads or trading in general, I'm going to teach you exactly how I do this step by step and I'm going to spare nothing. I'm going to show you everything behind the scenes like you're watching my shoulder or over my shoulder as I trade. So anyways, guys, before we're going into the little concepts of today is proof before we start so you can know why you should be trusting me and teaching you this. Uh, also, what are what are credit spreads, what are calls, puts, etc., and teaching you all that in depth. Then explaining what the best expiration date cycle is to generate these one thousand dollars every single Friday, and the different levels to use to to determine your, your credit spreads, and the exact strategy I use step by step. So, if you want to make more money consistently, you're in the right place. If you want to get a strategy that will help you have a ninety plus percent win rate and know exactly what to do step by step, you're in the right place. If you dislike my face you're in the right place, I think, but I don't get many people who say that. Anyways, let's dive into the video. So before we start, I wanna show you that that this is possible. So if I go to my Tasty Trade Broker right here, I can go into my date filter and go the last 30 days, right here, 30 days, um, select all of these trades that I did, shift, 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 right here, all these trades, and right here you can see minus about $330 in commissions. I made $5,500 in a single month of trading these passive credit spread trades. So that's again, if there's four weeks in a month, that's over $1,000 every single week trading credit spread. So that's proof number one, I, I can do it for myself. But not only that, here are all the trades uh, of members that I've shared in April. Again, this person right, or that's me, let's skip that you already saw mine. Um, but here we go, this number right, right here made $800 from GLD spreads. This person made around 15%. This person made 15%, 16%. Oh, that's me, stop talking. Uh, this is a 19% gain, a 14% gain, a 13% gain, a 16% gain, a 14%, a 17%. Um, this person right here is 17, 18. This is roughly 16, 15% per, per cent gain. Another 16% per, per cent gain. He made $560, excluding fees and commissions. You can see here all the results that that, that people are having. So I just want to show you all that up front to be like, I can teach you and what I'm going to teach you is important. So please get rid of di uh, um, your distractions, turn your phone off, put it to the side, close the door in the office, wherever you are, get out a notepad and pen, because I'm actually going to teach you everything you need you you need to know. Like I'm literally going to give you everything so that at the end of this video, you can literally do this for yourself. All right, here we go. What are credit spreads? So again, in the options world, there's two different types of things. You have call options and you have put options. Call options go up in value as the stock goes up in value. So again, if we have a stock that is going up like this and we buy a call, a call will also go up in value. This means when the stock drops, the call will also drop as well. And again, if we have a put contract on a stock, then again, as the stock goes up, the put contract's actually going to go down in value. So what does this show? It means that if the stock goes up, the put goes down, but if the stock goes down, the put goes up. So you can think about a call as like buying a stock share, and you can think like a put like shorting it, doing the exact opposite of whatever the stock does. So now that we know that there's calls and puts in this world, we need to know what we can do with them. Well, what the trading strat the, the trading strategy that I'm going to teach in today's video is called a credit spread strategy, which is essentially where we have a stock that's trading. Let's say this is our stock trading, and we make money by picking a level we think that stock will stay above or below, depending on what we're trading. So let's say we're trading a put credit spread. That means that I want to pick a level I think the stock is going to stay above. So for instance, let's say the stock is trading and let's say it's trading right here and there's still more to go, but I think it's going to stay above this line right here. Why? Because that was a previous low. Then again, I can put on a put credit spread, which I'll show you how to place in a little bit. But again, you put on a, a put credit spread where as long as the stock stays above this level, then I make money. So that means the stock could go up and I make money. It could go sideways and I make money. It could go down and I make money. All right, so let me explain the two different types of credit spreads. So like options, we have call options, which make money to the upside, and we have put options, which make money to the downside. We have call credit spreads and we have put credit spreads. So let's say we're gonna put on a call credit spread here. So a call credit spread is where I, for instance, make a level. So let's say my level is here. When I am trading call credit spreads, I want the stock to stay below that level. So let's say the stock price is currently trading at this circle. So the circle is here, I picked this level here, I'm trading a call credit spread, and I make money as long as the stock stays 
below this level. So what does this mean? That means like unlike stock trading, I make money if the stock goes against me, which goes towards my favor. So again, I make money as long as it stays below this or the stock stays sideways, I make money, or if the stock goes down, I make money. Who here would be like, if I made money when the stock go down, I could actually start making money because all the stocks always seem to go against me, right? That's where I was when I first started trading. Stocks always seem to go against me. And I was like, someone should just take the opposite trades of what I'm trading and they would make money. Anyways, that's how it works for call credit spreads. For puts, you're doing the inverse. You're, so for calls, you're picking a level you think the stock will stay below. For puts, let's say the stock is trading at this circle. I'm gonna pick a level where I think the stock will stay above. So I'm saying I'm going to pick this level. So unlike stocks where I, where I have to be right on direction, just not only make money if the stock goes up, and a put credit spread, if the, stock if the stock goes up, I make money. If the stock stays flat, I make money. If the stock goes down, but still stays above my level, I make money as well. So that's why credit spreads are very reliable and very consistent, especially in the way I'm going to teach you how to use them today. Because in general, they make money in three, di three different ways. If they go in your direction, they stay flat and they even go against you, you still make money. Who here would be like, all right, I'm ready to hear more because I can actually make money with this. That's how this works. All right, now I wanna walk through this because if you've never heard of options, options have expiration dates, which means that they're contracts that are set to expire by a certain date. And so what happens is as long as, depending on what you're trading, let's say it's a put credit spread, as long as the stock stays above this level by the expiration date, you make all the money it said that you were going to make. And so that's how that works. Now, how do we set up these expiration dates to make $1,000 every single Friday? So this is how it works. Let's say we have week one right here. We're gonna say one. Then we have week two of the month right here. Then we have week three of the month right here. Forgive my bad drawing skills. I don't draw often, much less on a computer. And then we have week four and we'll stop here. We could do more, maybe we will. But anyways, okay, so let's say week one. We're trading and week one. What we do, let's say we put on two credit spread trades, one on SPY and one on TLT, whatever. That's my, my, my typical go-to. So we have two trades right here. All right, cool. The way that I'm gonna teach you to trade these expiration dates is you're gonna be trading uh, three weeks out. So again, um, this is week one, this is week two, this is week three, so it's gonna expire here in week four, right? So one, two, three. So it's going to expire here in week four. That means that if I put on two credit spread trades here, I'm gonna make my money here in week four. Okay, so I make, I make $1,000 here in week four based on the two trades that I put here on this week. Now, you may be saying, okay, that's cool, but I wanna make money a bit faster, right? Like, I wanna make money every single week. I don't wanna put on a trade and then have to wait three weeks to get my money back, right? Or actually make money. Well, that's why we set up we set up the trade like this. So what we do is every single week, regardless if the market is up, down, or sideways, again, I'll teach you the strategy that will help you do it. What we do is, we buy or sell two credit spreads every single week. Your whole goal, you are a successful trader with this strategy if every single week you put on two credit spread trades that are gonna make you at least $500. So that is how we, we do it. So here, if I put on the first week, I'm going to make it in week four, but I put on two more than next week, then I put on two more than next week, then I put on two more than next week, and you see how this starts compounding on itself? So here, by the time I put on trade this week, trade this week, trade this week, the next week, I'm still putting on two trades, but I'm making the money from week one. In week five, I'm making another thousand dollars from week two, just like that. And week three, I mean, in week six, I'm making the thousand dollars that from the trades I put on in week three. And just like that, after a, after a period of three weeks of you putting on two trades every single week, now nonstop, as long as you do your job, which is put on two credit spread trades every single week, you'll start making a thousand dollars every single Friday. That's exactly how this works. Expiration, expiration days are on Friday, and if you structure it like this, you'll forever have $1,000 paydays every single Friday, given the trades go in your favor. So that is the wonderful part of putting these trades on. And I now realize my face is probably blocking that, and I'm sorry, let me, oh, no, that's just making it worse. Um, here we go, let's just move my face just so you guys can get a better example of what's going on here. Um, so yeah, so you can see here that we have week one, week two, week three, week four, week five. And so the way that we make money or $1,000 every single Friday is simply by making sure that we do our number one job, which is putting on a credit spread trade 
every single week. We need to put on two every single week. That is gonna make us at least $500, and that's how we collect $1,000 every single week. All right, cool, so now I showed you the, the overview of what's going on. For instance, I showed you how credit spreads work, how options work, how we set up our expiration dates. Let's get into the nitty gritty of it and actually show you what you should be doing um, right now. And the reason why we're gonna do this is because, again, I want you to walk away from this video and be like, wow, not only did I learn something, but I can put it into action. Okay, cool. So let's jump into this. How do we know what levels to pick? You may be like, okay, Austin, call credit spreads are cool. Put credit spreads are cool. I can see how I can make money with it. I can see how it's more consistent, but how exactly do I pick the level the stock will stay above? Like how can I have a weight, uh, a rate of doing that? Well, there's two main ways I'm going to teach in today's video, uh, which is technical analysis and Delta levels. So number one, let's look at the, um, Ten, the, 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 the technical analysis level. This is for people who enjoy looking at charts and enjoy knowing what trends do. So for instance, let's look at this chart. What we're gonna do is we're gonna chart out support and resistance. So resistance is simply a high a stock has reached before. Support is simply a stock a low has reached before. So why am I putting support here? Well, it looks like it hit the low here before. It hit the low here before. This looks like a good support. Now, where's my resistance point right here? Okay, so it looks like it's 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 hit here before. It looks like it's hit it's hit here before. Okay, cool. So based on just this general understanding of support and resistance, how should we put on put credit spread trades? Well, if the stocks hit this level and starting to reject, I can put on a call credit spread with my level being here, and I should be fairly safe, right? Also, if the stock comes down and starts dipping at this level, I sh could put on a put credit spread with this being my with this being my level, right? So let's say the stock is is going down, it starts to bounce and it starts to recover. Well, the stock's trading here. I can buy below it. I can sell like a credit spread around around here, and now I'm safe. So if the stock goes up like it like it typically does, I make money. If the stock stays flat around this level, I make money. If the stock breaks the level and then comes back and then closes above it, I make money, right? So that's that's how you use levels. The same way to the upside. Let's say the stock it starts to reverse tomorrow, and so again it starts to reverse this upcoming week. And they're like, okay, cool. So it's starting to head down. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit above it. This is gonna be my call credit spread level. As long as the stock stay or goes down, I make money. If the stock stays and hovers around this level, I make money. If the stock breaks back above and then closes below, I make money. So that is how you use levels, using support and resistance to chart out these things. Now, for people who don't like charting, don't worry, I have another option for you, which is, you, you get it, it's a funny option for you, okay, never mind, um, is using deltas. So again, we can also use deltas for understanding what trades to put on. So if I come back here to my broker, let's go to GLD, let's go to the trade tab. So what we see here is we're going to go out, remember, roughly um, three weeks. Again, we have a 14 um, days out. We have 21 days out. So we have two weeks and looks like roughly three weeks. So let's go to the three weeks out. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to look at Delta. So this is, don't let this overcomplicate you. This is just an options chain, which shows you what the put prices are and what the call prices are. But simply, these are the levels that we're looking to pick from. We go and we look, okay, what level do we want to pick? Well, we simply make sure that one of our columns on the side says Delta. Delta, we're looking for 0 0.20 or somewhere near that. So you can see here 0.20, this is 0.19, this is 0.21, so let's do 0.21. So again, we're gonna set up a, a credit spread, which is simply where we sell this, uh, a put credit spread, where we sell this level we want, and then we buy the next level, 179, for, for protection. This is how you set up a credit spread trade. Now again, by default, what happens here is when you have a delta like this, a 0.21 delta, a delta, it tells you your theoretical win percentage. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, a delta is the likelihood of a stock hitting this level. It's the likelihood of a stock expiring in the money at this level. So for instance, 180 is currently far from the stock price. The stock price is trading at 184, almost 185. So we picked a level that was below it, right? Because that's what we do for put credit spreads. So 180, so again, it has a roughly a 21, because it's a 0.21 delta, a 21% chance that the stock will come down and hit 180 by the end of our expiration date. So what does that in turn? Well, if we reverse the numbers, if we do 100% minus 21%, that means that we have a 79% chance 
that this credit spread expires worthless, which means the stock expires above 180 and we make money. So that is exactly how you can pick levels. But again, I want to show you how it may not be best to do that because you need to put you need to have one more thing, which is my secret hidden strategy. So you can use you can use the technical analysis and you can use Delta, but there's a secret hit, uh, hidden strategy and I want to show you why. Let's say we're using the Delta approach. So like I said on that Delta approach, if we come back here, do you know what your, your, your win rate is? Your win rate is roughly going to be 79%. So you're gonna win 79% of the time, theoretically, and you're going to collect 18 cents. Okay, cool, let's do that math, okay? Let's say out of 100 trades, we're gonna win 79 of those trades. We're gonna win 79 of those trades. Now, outside of the 79, how much money will we win for each one of those trades? Well, 18 cents or roughly $18 because each option represents 100. So 18 cents times 100, $18. So out of 100 trades, we're gonna win 79 and we're gonna make $18 for every one that we win. Now, let's talk about losers. We're gonna have roughly 21 losers. Okay, cool, 21 losers. But how much are we losing when we lose, well, credit spreads, although they have defined risk where our loss is limited, our loss is usually a lot greater. Why? Because we have a higher chance of winning. And again, the stock market does not give you any free food or a free lunch. So what's gonna happen here is your profit is way less than your max loss. So our max loss is going to be $100 minus what we're making, so 18. So 100 minus 18. So that means we have an $82 loss per loss. So what does this give us here? Out of 100 trades with our delta giving us a 79% win rate, we're going to lose $300. So we're gonna go through the painstaking time of placing 100 trades and guess what? We're gonna end up losing money. Does this look worth it to you? It isn't. You should never be okay losing money. Now, that is where our secret approach, our secret hidden strategy comes in, trend following. So when we look at this stock, let's clear all these things off because we don't wanna look at it like confusing. When we look at, at at this stock, again, when most people look at a market, they go, okay, cool. It looks like this market's going up in general. Okay, cool. But how do, how, how do we know what's happening at certain different times of the, mar uh, of the market or certain areas of the market? Well, for instance, if we look here at this area, this area is trending up. So this looks like an uptrending thing. What does an uptrending thing mean? What credit spread strategy makes money to the upside? Well, they put credit spread. Well, during this period of the market, it kind of looks like it's going down. So what should we be trading here? Well, we should be trading call credit spreads because they make money to the downside. Vice versa, look, put call credit spread, put credit spread, call credit spread, maybe put credit spread here that we're going up. Okay, well, how do we know what different phases we're in so we know what credit spread to use? Well, very simply, we're gonna, number one, remove all these drawings again, but we're gonna look and add the 200-day moving average line to our charts. We're gonna go to the indicator section. You can type in moving average, just like that, and you're gonna add it, and then you're going to adjust it to 200 period, which is what this thing is right here, and then you're, you're going to see this. When the stock is above this line, it is regarded as a bullish stock. It is regarded as the stock is going to move higher. So when the stock is above this line, you wanna be trading, put credit spreads. When the stock is below this line, you wanna be selling, call credit spreads. That is how you know your directional bias on this stock. Now again, you can, you can go in a bit deeper to this, but I just wanna keep it at the overview simple. When you know the direction, that's how you pick which credit spread trade you're using. You go out to a 20 delta, and now your win rate is bumping up into 85, 90% win rate territory. So instead of having the 79% win rate, you're now at 90% win rate. So now, you, so now you may be asking the next logical question, which is, okay, if I have a 90% win rate out of 100 trades, I'm still going to the 20 delta, so I still have this 18, but my losses get shrunk a lot. Now that turns into a positive, what is that? $800. So if you start trading the right spread and the direction of the trend, the direction the movement and the market is going, you can change it from a overall $300 loss to a positive $800 gain. And again, this is something you can do week in and week out every single time. And this is a compilation of 100 trades, you'll make $800. And again, that's just with one trade. Imagine if you trade two spreads, that's $1,600. Imagine if you trade 10 spreads per trade, that's gonna be $8,000. So guys, that is the beauty of using a simple and reliable process just like this.
All right, guys, so that is how you, that is my se my secret approach to putting it in your favor. But now I want to walk you through how I use the turtle strategy. Now, again, I definitely 100% should have had this pulled up before I did it, uh, but I didn't. So I'm going to walk you through this. Again, you can go to www.10percentcreditspreads.com. Don't know why this is taking so long to load. Go to the blog section, which should be in the top section right here. Uh, you can scroll down to the bottom and go to strategies and back tests. And just like that, you have access to all the strategies that I, pers I personally use and ones that you can use step by step. So again, once you're here, I'm going to walk you through the turtle strategy for today. So if I come here, going to click into here, it's going to show you ev everything about it, the back test, the reasoning behind, the explanation, all that. But what I want to focus on for today's training video is the step by step rules to put on this trade. So number one, we want these stock to be in between the green and yellow lines, which tells you the exact standard deviations to look for. All you need to know, make sure this stock is above the 200 day moving average line. If it's above this line, we're going to go ahead with this turtle trade strategy. Okay, cool. Number two, we need to determine our short strike price. What is the level we are trading at? For some people, they like to use technical anal uh, they use they like to use they use they like to use technical analysis. Some people like to use delta. For me, I like to be more consistent and not guess. Instead, I like to do math. So right here, what we're going to do is we're, we're going to take the stock close price and multiply it by 97%. Uh, percent, so 0.97. That's going to and then round up to the nearest whole number. But that's going to give us our short strike. So we're going to set up a credit spread, a put credit spread with our short strike being this price, and then we're going to buy the one below it. Next, our expiration date is going to be the current date plus 12 days and round up to the next Friday. So that's roughly going to end up being two to three weeks depending on when you enter the trade. So again, the current date plus 12 days rounding up to the next Friday. Next, you wanna set up the trade in your broker and make sure you can collect at least 15 cents in credit. This is exactly what we had set up on Tasty Trade a second ago. Right here, we can collect more uh, than 15 cents, so that would be a good trade, right? 184, uh, let's, let's, let's just do the math. 184.8 uh, times, um, 0.97 actually gives us 179. Yeah, so we need to move this 179 right there. So you can collect roughly 14 cents. Um, so again, this would not be the best trade to put on at the moment. You just want to wait until it hits 15 cents and then you can do that on. But guess what? For those who work full time, you don't have to watch this stock constantly. Instead, you go, okay, cool. I know I need to collect 15 cents. So let's say 15 cents. I'm going to set that limit order. I'm going to review that order and I'm going to send it. And guess what? You don't need to worry. You, you don't need to worry about it. If the trade hits 15 cents, it's going to automatically sell that for you. So you get in the trade without even having to be there. That's a bonus. I didn't even want to include that in this video, but I gave it to you. So now if you work a full-time job, you know how to do it. Just set close, uh, just set um, good to cancel uh, trades and you'll be able to enter trades without even being present. Okay, so that is the turtle, strat uh, the turtle strategy and how you make money in this type of market. Okay, cool. Next is, do you wanna actually see how you can put this turtle strategy to work? Uh, so if we go here, actually, if I scroll down to the bottom um, and log in, the turtle strategy uh, right uh, right here, I just wanna show you the historical performance so you can actually verify this works. Um, it's taking a bit to load because again, it takes um, some internet and some speed to kind of stream these things. Um, but other, other than that, here we go. Okay, so right here, SPY with the true turtle strategy right here, you have a 95% win rate. Who here would like to win 95% of the time? Wouldn't everybody, right? Like I bet a lot of you are 95% losers. Not only that, you also have an annualized return of 35%. So if you wanna beat the market by three, almost four X, you can use this strategy week in and, and, and week out to do that. Not only that, this is the back test, but if you wanna get the trade sent straight to you, you can do that here. This trade idea as Algo walks you through exactly how and when to set up these trades that you actually make money. Knowing the historical win rate when you follow the trend, having your an having your annualized return and everything like that. It also gives you strategies for when the market is trending down, when the market's sideways, and so many other things just like that. All right, guys, that is kind of the point of this video is I wanna show you the importance of trading with the trend. When you trade with what the trend is doing and using credit spreads, you have a chance to increase your win rate dr dr dramatically, and not only that, have a long-term pos positive expectancy so that you can actually make money. So again, if you want these trades to be sent straight to your phone for free, like don't even worry about signing up for anything, for free, like I'm not gonna make you charge money. All you need to do is go to the link below in the description, app.10percentcreditspreads.com. You don't have to sign up for this program, but what you do is you scroll down to the bottom and say, I wanna test our alerts. I'll send you 
three turtle trade or any of the alerts the current market is set up for right now so that you can have these alerts sent straight to your phone and i'm going to show you i'm going to give you trainings on how to set up these trades for whatever broker you have so if you're like austin this isn't like i need more help i need more education i need to learn how to walk through this uh, but i do want to place these trades we'll just go there to the link app.10 uh, percent uh, credit spreads and um, check out our three free alerts. If you want access to this program, which is sharing my trade alerts in real time via text, via email, and Discord, you wanna join our office hours, you wanna get access to the master class on credit spreads, as well as how to trade with a full-time job and so much more, you can join the Inner, uh, the inner Circle program. For a limited time, right uh, right now, again, this is the $97 a month, um, but because you watched this whole video, um, I'm gonna put an exclusive link down below. It will actually give you 50% off uh, for the first month. So anyways, you guys can check that out down below, but that plan or that discount won't last long. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about, about credit spreads and how they work, make sure to smash that thumbs up button, but most importantly, the subscribe button because I share everything about, uh, about credit spreads, how you can do it on both small and large accounts, whether you work full time or not. Anyways, guys, see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed my time, time with you and I hope you learned a lot.